Hi, I'm a knitter of my Duke and I podcast. And if you're seeing this show for the first time, please like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so when an episode comes out, you will be notified. So, finally, Prince Charles has decided to allow Harry to wear his uniform at one of the um, events of his granny. And I know the only reason why, why Chuck, which I will never call king because he's not a king in my eyes. He has no, no leadership quality. So I will never, ever refer to him as a king. For matter of fact, I look at him as a clown, a literal clown and all of them. And they got a real backlash on social media about Harry being in a gray suit while all of them is in the military uniform. I mean, Harry served 10 years in the military, two tours of duty to Afghanistan, and they had him in a gray suit. But you know what? It backfired on their behinds because Harry looked distinguished. He looked like a commander. He looked head and shoulders like a distinct officer or the king himself, King Harry, and all of them looked like they were his servants. They all looked like they were guarding him. They all looked like tall um, toy soldiers. So at the end of the day, when they saw that <laughs> and they heard all the backlash, they gave in and they said that Harry can wear his uniform. But I think it would be so cool if Harry came out and didn't even put the uniform on. Literally telling them to their faces that a uniform does not make me. The man makes the person. The, the person's character, the person's actions make the person. And Prince Charles, or Chuck, his actions certainly does not exude leadership and it does not exude a person who should be in a position of a king. That is a really, really powerful position. And although in <laughs> right now in this day and age, being a king is like, well, you might as well call me a queen. <laughs> Because being a king is just a namesake. It doesn't really mean anything in England. You know, and it it, it really doesn't mean anything when um, people from different parts of the world look at Charles. He has no power, absolutely no power. The man cannot even run his kingdom. He cannot even run his palaces. Case in point, they had Meghan on the guest list. Uh, and Harry on the guest list as well to attend a luncheon with leaders. And Harry and Meghan learned through the media that they were uninvited. And then palace sources, so-called palace sources, there they go again, said that Harry and Meghan uh, are not um, working royals and only ro working royals um, would be attending. Well, they should have made that clear. I'm not too sure about the invitation part. I don't know how it was sent out, how it wasn't sent out. But clearly, everybody um, was under the impression, even Harry and Meghan, that they were um, invited to that event. And all of a sudden, they have literally insulted them by not even having the courtesy to let them know that they are not invited instead the media has to inform them that they're not invited i mean how cruel how cruel how cruel can a father be to his own child embarrassing and insulting his own child on the world stage where the world is looking but you know i am not surprised because i in my head, it's a form of karma. I'm thinking that when you make a deal with the devil, the devil always wants his reward. 
And this is the way that he's taking his reward. He's embarrassing the hell out of the royal family. He's making them look pitiful and petty. He's making them look stupid. And he's also making them look like they need to be abolished. I say no to the royal family. I say abolish the royal family. They are despised group of people they have no class there's their their hearts are black and their reign should be ended thank god there are so many commonwealth nations right now who are planning a referendum to get rid to abolish to get rid of the royal family in their countries and islands and i am so proud of them you know this man um chuck Prince Charles, he has no leadership quality. The man is sick, and I would not even be surprised that in a few years from now, Charles is just going to give up that throne. He cannot do it. You can see how he's running around with a ch like a chicken without its head. He is just overwhelmed. One, two unhealthy three unfit to be a king and i will never call him a king i'm going to call him a clown and i'm looking still for a name for names for the others around um, him i'll call them marionettes you have the clown and you have the marionettes william will not kit and i'm not calling them no prince and princess of wales because one, the um, Wales is saying that they rushed to name Prince um, um, William and Kate, Prince and Princess of Wales, without even consulting them. And I agree with them. There are, I think, about 28, the last time I checked, 28,000 um, signatures calling to end the title of prince and princess of wales and i agree with them kate and william they are two selfish being kate she's oh where is as a woman you see another woman suffering <sighs> in a new country pregnant without any support and being bashed by the media and you cannot find it in your heart to say reach out to Megan and be a sister-in-law and William you cannot even be there for your sister-in-law you cannot even be there for well if he cannot be there for his own brother he couldn't be there for anybody that those people are disgusting and it's just at the end of the day sometimes when I think I think it's just this family is cursed and that's why they cannot put a foot right every foot they put it is wrong you know, they used to say Kate couldn't put if Kate put Kate didn't put a foot wrong. Kate has put all her feet wrong. She's horrible, and she doesn't represent women. And certainly, um, Prince William, which I'm not calling Prince of Wales or anything like that, he definitely is a Judas. He is a Judas. He's a Judas, and I cannot, I uh, Harry. Ugh. Harry definitely should not even I hope Harry tear them to bits in his book I hope he put every details in his book that is going to make them look like the scoundrels they are and um, my heart goes out to Megan you know in a way I was saying that it's good that they're over there and they can is a way of exposing the monarchy but at the same time how much can one person take how much can one person take i just feel sorry and saddened for megan and i know harry has been part of that family he knows them in and out but megan has not been part of that family and i know she's suffering and my heart goes out to her it's just sad it's very sad. Oh, sorry, y'all. Sorry. It's just I'm I'm really hurt for the girl. 
Bye guys, take care. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.